Let's have a look up here. Now, I think it's up here, Mr. Rooney's house. So, paparazzis, get ready to paparazzi him. It's there. That's it. Down over there, over that K can that Gandhi field. That's Mr. Rooney's house. Oh, look, it's covered in cameras. They got whatever this place is. I don't know. Oh no, that's the manor down there. Oh, there's some houses down there. Oh, is it here? This might be it. Yeah, that's, I think that's it actually. Look, two Porsches. It's like one of those two houses, but you can get the idea. Oh, look at this! It's kind of like an old hat. Oh, I've got back past it. That's the Beaumont. That's the back entrance of the Beaumont. So doesn't count. Look at that, that old building there. No one's lived in it for years, look. All overgrown, tatty. Mr. Rooney's house is around here. Um, and it's not just Mr. Rooney's, it's, there's hundreds, there's quite a few of the Manchester United team around here and Liverpool team. All living in these houses. They're not short of cash round here, that's for sure. Audi, Audi, Audi. Audi, Audi, v VW. Um, so yeah, back to, to what I was saying about footballers. It's not that... Oh, good idea. Oh, I think I was willing to drive around here. Because there's a house. I haven't been down there either. Ever. Oh, no, I haven't. I've never been down there. Because there's these houses. It's like cheaper though, around here. <laughs> it's cheaper. Cheaper. <laughs> About, this is probably like 600 grand. Oh, it is dirt around here, I think. Yeah, it is. I'll turn around. Right, before I get distracted again, I'll tell you more. Right, the thing is, football, football when my dad was growing up in the 70s or whatever, now he used to play football when he was a kid. Um, and he all used to be... Like, every team there was had players from their own town. So, Manchester United, Manchester United was made of Manchester uh, people rather than, say, foreign people. And that's the problem with now modern day football, is that it's just about money. It's all money making. Well, especially like United and Chelsea and Arsenal and Liverpool and basically all the top 
people. <laughs> Look at that. He's got a Volvo, he's sensible. And a bike lock. Bike in the garage. Yeah, it's all money making now, rather than what it was when my dad was growing up. And now this is an even bigger stigma, which tends to be rivalry um, and beating each other. It's like, because you, you're, Liverpool, you're a Liverpool fan um, and you're a Man United fan, these two have to fight each other. And that's what's going wrong with football. Um, it's also very violent sports. Well, it is when you're a kid anyway. You, you seem to have legs and arms broken or whatever. And it's like, I really don't want to play football whatsoever. Please don't make me play it. Found excuses, always found excuses not to play it. So that's the problem with football. It's all changed over the last 30, 40 years. Especially the last 10 anyway. 10, 15 years. I know... And it seems to also be that... Um, my United fans seem to be the worst. They do. They seem to be always the worst. Um, and we've left the country side now into this is a proper country road yeah now we get get the point of leaf road it's just blow leaves around get up the hill Out road. Let's have a look down there. Um, so everything's changed since. Everything's. Uh, that's what fo that's what really annoys me about football. So I won't watch it. I don't watch football. The only team I support is um, my hometown, Man Macclesfield FC, also known as the Siltman. Nicknamed Siltman because we're silk factories that were here in about 1200. 12, about 1200 C, uh, 1200 AD, no BC, no, before AD, after Christ, after, after AD. Oops, I'm getting lost again now. Well, I'll say lost, I just haven't been down here. Look, tiny village houses. Still really expensive. There's this proper press free now. Um, and when they say support them, I don't go watch them. My dad does once a year, usually. That's about it. I won't have anything to do with football anymore. But I'll say, I never have really. So, and motorbikes really only keeps my life when I was turning 16 anyway. I've had cars in my life. Yeah, well, I've never owned a car, but. Um, I've always been fascinated by cars. And since I turned about 14, 15, music. I love my music now. I love rock and metal music. I'm talking about music actually. And there's always been TV. <laughs> so they're my interest anyway. Anyway, out for now. This has been a really long blog.